Good morning. Welcome back to Satterwhite Live. Yeah. I'm Blake Linton. This is Josh Thomas. Sure is. We've got a special episode today. This is neat. This is going to be cool. We are going to pull back the curtain at Satterwhite Log Homes. We had a, a request from a viewer that they wanted to see a tour of the Longview office. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Got to ambush a few people. We're, yep, we're going amb to ambush a few employees. But I want to go ahead and first start out with the statement of beliefs. We at Satterwhite Log Homes are Christians. We are not ashamed of our faith. We kneel to God only and to no man. We, li we love America. We stand proudly for the pledge and our national anthem. We are proud of our flag, our military, our law enforcement, and our first responders. We revere our founding fathers and our constitution, and we will fight to the death for our families, our country, and our God. Yes, sir. All right, so what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to roll some video that we just shot this morning, uh, taking you through every facet of the... Yeah, so we get to meet all the, the people, everybody that we could meet that, that wasn't run away from us. Yeah, a lot and of them were, the, yeah. heard us talking and they started running for cover. Yeah. So and I then, see one of our uh, former salesmen that was here forever, Alan Heinemann, is watching. Alan, good morning. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, there'll be some familiar faces yeah, for him, for you're sure. You're going to see some familiar faces, so we're glad to have you watching. Uh, Danny, we ready to start rolling our video? Hey guys, we got something real unique for you this week. We're going to be pulling back the curtain on Satterwhite Log Homes. We had a customer request a tour of the office, so that's what we're here to do today. We're going to start back here in our... Um, yeah, I guess this is... Go, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your toes. No, no problem. If you this is, on the, this is on the back end of the, of the uh, studio where we're usually... This is in the background of us, but it's a great opportunity to see uh, our stain choices and things like that on our logs. Right. Once, when you build a log home with us or looking for some restoration products, this is where we bring you to show you all the different um, stain colors that we have, things like that. And this is permachink products on some of our actual log siding, so you can see exactly what to expect uh, with each stain color. Yeah, it's very representative. Absolutely. So, walking through here, we've got this is kind of the back side of the studio that you see every Thursday. Yeah, so usually Blake and I are sitting. Yeah, opposite, like this. Like this, with the video coming back this way. So you see that in the, in the background. But this is just, I mean, we've set up the, the studio in our showroom, so right. there's just a ton right. of neat stuff to see here. All right, let's go. We're going to go into the inner workings of Satterwhite and kind of show you the ins and outs of it. This is what we presented last week. These are the, yeah. the corner logs. That was we, a great video, I think. I thought it was a great yeah, video. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. Kind of showing when to expect to have to restain your log home. Uh, these are just log corners that we've, that we've set up. So, uh, all right. But just tons of more uh, finish out options, things you can do on the inside. Here we're going into one of the most important parts of Satterwhite Log Homes. The secret innermost sanctuary. Right. This is our employee kitchen and yeah. break room. This is where we get to eat lunch every day. Uh, yeah, when we finish a video at 1130, we, we basically come straight from there into here, sit down and talk right. about our endeavors with our fellow employees. That's one thing at Satterwhite Log Homes, you do not miss a meal. So um, I'm a good representation of that. So, I mean, it just goes to show the, the family atmosphere. We have right. a lot of fun. We all, you know, Absolutely. fellowship together. Absolutely. So, all right, guys, now here's where we're going now. We're going into the office spaces of Satterwhite. These people don't know that we're coming. They're probably not going to react too favorably to that, but that's going to be the fun part. Candid camera. Yeah. Okay, so you have here, this is our lobby. This is the, the lobby that you, when you walk into Satterwhite Log Homes, um, you've got- Come in the door and see the beautiful face of Miss Jeannie Dussex. Jeannie is the backbone of the Satterwhite Lobby. She is the one that greets you when you come in the door, always has a smile and face and is very knowledgeable. Jeannie, how long have you been here? 25 years. She's been here 25 years and I hope she's here another 25. Yeah, because she covers for you when, when you can't be found. Right, so, when I can't yeah. be found, she's the one that covers for me. Yeah, so. that's right, running interference. Thank you, Jeannie. As you can see here, we've got a, some blue pine on the ceiling with some spruce beams. Yeah, we just freshened this up, what, a year or two ago? Yeah. Um, big, uh, awesome mantle that you got there. We'll kind of go over to the mantle shop later and show you where this stuff's yeah, available for you. Uh, but just tons of pictures, uh, slideshows running, just a, just a family atmosphere. Absolutely. We'll go back into the sales spectrum. Okay, well, let's, let's talk about this real let's quick. Let's hit this quickly. Okay, that's our... Our constructed shell map. 
This is where all of our current, current and completed within the last six months shells are located. We've got pin marks on each one of those. Yeah, it just kind of shows you, you know, what we've got going on which at any a, given time. Absolutely, which is a bunch. All right, we've got our first sales office is Jeff McKinney. He's been here for how long, Jeff? Uh, he's on the phone. <laughs> you think he's really doing work? You think he's acting like he's doing work? <laughs> Jeff, how long have you been with us? 27 years. 27 years, so. He was like four when he started. Right. So. <laughs> Next stop is our fearless leader, Travonda Satterwhite. Josh, okay. She is on the phone. Like she is most of the time. Right. You know, people ask all the time, you know, do you ever see the Satterwhites? You know, are they here, are they here most of the time? And I mean, literally, most of the time, they're here. They're here. All right. Next office is my office right here. It's kind of a mess because I work so hard. But. <laughs> Blake, explain to them the fishing deal. Roger Kewen, he was our service manager. He caught all those fish at it the Satterwhite farm and allowed me to put those up on my wall. So I, uh, best fisherman I know. That's right. How, that's, how many that's times that's have you led people to believe that that was, uh, those were your fish? One time. What, just one once? Time. Some pictures of my daughter on the door there. Georgia Pearl. Yep. I thought so. I thought so. Uh, Let's walk down this way. Okay. See who we can ambush. I bet we can ambush Robert Henry. Oh, he's not oh, here. He, he probably heard we were coming. Yeah. So Robert Henry, he's been on some videos with us. Um, uh, some of you might already know him. Uh, does a lot of good work for us, so this is his office. Okay, that's Kevin Sheehy, but vacation again. Yep. Okay, we'll go into some more offices back this way. We got Alan Amos. Salesman at Satterwhite Log Homes, hard yeah. at it. He's done a lot of videos with us. Uh, you <laughs> should recognize him. Alan, thank you for being on the video. Yes, sir. Thank you. In my office, you got to look at my beautiful boy, Luke. We've got uh, Kevin Blaylock over in this office here. Kevin's a salesman here. He's been on uh, videos with us before. Yep. Office is Brooke McDowell. She does a great job here for us at Satterwhite. Thanks to your husband. Look at all those, <laughs> look at all those pink tickets and yellow tickets. <laughs> and now we come back to one of the most important people at Satterwhite Log Homes, which is Kim. Wow. She's really, really sucking up, aren't you, Mike? Yeah, she's our office manager. She always does a great job keeping everybody straight. Yeah. Um, hey, I just saw our, our construction manager. Grab him. Hey, Gene. Gene Cooper. We got Gene Cooper, our construction he, manager. He's he is, not hard to hear. He might act like he's, he is. he's always on, always on the move, uh, always moving through the offices. He's the one that keeps all of our crews in line and makes sure that everything flows as scheduled. Yeah, he's been here for about 140 years. How long have you been here, Gene? 34 years. 34 years. How many crews do you run? Mm, typically nine. Uh huh. Counting yeah. the concrete crew and the. Yeah. So I bet you being on the video, even though we ambushed you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go back here to the logistics department. Freight department's Tim Cooper. He's been here 36 years. Does a great job scheduling all of our delivery, things like that. All the inner workings of anything that needs to be delivered from Satterwhite Log Homes or purchasing of materials, Tim is the guy. And I'm the man. <laughs> he is the man. Do you think there's any relation with Tim Cooper and Gene Cooper? I don't think there's any relation. No, no <laughs> relation. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> All right, so, so this is, go ahead. Yeah, we caught Gene Cooper uh, in transit going up to the lobby, probably for a cup of coffee, but this is his office, so he runs all the crews and scheduling from here. This is just a quickly to show you how many people are uh, waiting to be scheduled to have their house built. Yeah, this, these, are, these are houses that have been sold, waiting on uh, construction. Yeah, start date. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go from here upstairs to the drafting and estimating department. Jeremy Kamak is our drafting and designer. He's been here for, Jeremy, how long have you been here? What? How long have you worked here? Uh, 18 years. 18 years, 18 years. So he was just a pup when he started he here. He was, this yeah. is Jeremy Kamak. <laughs> Absolutely, he does all the drafting and plan modifications and stuff like that. Um, 
Yeah, so he it. takes, uh, you know, we've done some videos with, with Megan in the past, but Jeremy's our other designer. Uh, he's a little more behind the scenes, but he takes uh, anything from customized, customizing standard plans to drawing straight from scratch, right? Right, yeah, anything and everything. So. Yeah, we'll draw it. it all, pretty much. That's right. Done it all. We appreciate you letting us ambush you, Jeremy. Yeah. That's right. Walking over here to the estimating department, we've got Jason Wimpy. He is in charge of counting all the materials that goes into our jobs, making sure everything's on the up and up. Jason, how long have you been here? Uh, about 10 years. 10 years. He's a Marine veteran. We appreciate his work and does a great job. Yeah, and if you don't like the price of your house, you call in and ask for Jason. He can explain <laughs> why. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. So, I've, I, Blake, I hate to do this to you, but i got to sell you down the river a little bit. Okay. Folks, I don't know if you guys are noticing, but most people, or some of the people are saying, oh, we're doing it a second time or take two. Well, the reason that is, is we did a whole first video of this, and uh, Blake, our technolo uh, technology challenged uh, production talent, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to trip all over myself <laughs> making fun of him, had, had his mic on mute the, the whole time. on so. mute, so we're kind of doing this a second time. But nonetheless, we'll I think we're hitting our stride this time. Oh, yeah, now. this time's much better, much better. So, okay, now we're going out to the warehouse. I think this is a great, you know, just a quickly to show them what, what all you can see at the office. I mean, this is exactly the way that we would build you a, a porch. Right. You know, everywhere you look at the office, we take yeah. it for granted, but you can see uh, how we're going to build your house, things uh, that go into it. So it's very, I think it's beneficial. These videos are obviously very beneficial, but it's also beneficial to take a visit to one of our locations. Right, we welcome you here anytime. So let's go out to the warehouse. Uh, we've got guys working all the time out here. Uh, this first Six days a week. Yeah, six days a week. This first location is our hand uniting and uh, texturing bay, I guess you would call yeah, it. Yeah, so we do all of the draw knifing, hand hewing, you know, foot as, whatever you want to call it. All that happens right here. Uh, the guys are doing uh, uh, an order of uh, one by 12 right now. Um, kind of in a, they're in between stages right now. They're cleaning up. As you can see, all these chips on the ground, that's stuff that they've hand hewn off of a log. In my opinion, that's unique to Satterwhite Log Homes, that we are one of the few companies out there that don't send our material through a, a machine to get the hand hewn look. A texturing machine. Yeah, yeah. We're literally doing it by hand. So. And I think that makes a big difference. Well, I mean, it's unique. Every piece is unique. So that's right. something that we can always say. Let's head back to the mill. I want to show them these logs oh. right here, if you don't okay. mind. Cool. So uh, this is a log package that's getting ready to go out. This is a 6x12 Smoky Mountain. It's been dovetailed on the corners. You see these interlocking corners that it's got. We've got a video just on that if you're interested in that. But the face of these logs, these flat face logs, they're going to be hand hewn over there by these guys to give it an even more uh, authentic look. Right. I mean, that's an, that's an option that you have. You can have the rough face or you right. can choose to go with the hand hewn look. Yeah, it's, it's literally just aesthetics. Right. On the left here, we've got our round stock bay. Uh, two and a quarter up to 12 inch round stock in either cedar or spruce. That's right. Uh, these uh, things are, tell them what they're used for, Josh. Well, you know, uh, uh, mainly they're used for handrail, porch posts, uh, porch, uh, uh, stairway railing, those type of things, stairway posts. Uh, but also you see them uh, up in the ceilings for decorative beams, yeah. you know, decorative trusses, those type of things. So right. anywhere where you want a round look, this is a, a good option. It's run through a mill, so it's uniform in diameter, so it's a little easier to work with. Yep. Next stop on the tour is our dovetail bay. Uh, like we were speaking of earlier, dovetailing is an option for your corner versus a button pass. Uh, if you choose to go with a dovetail corner, this is where this this is where the work is done. We'll move back here to the mill. Now, the sound might get a little sketchy back here because it's gonna be loud, but like we said, we're pulling back the curtain. We want you to see what goes on here every day. Juan Gutierrez, one of our sawyers. Juan, how long have you worked here? How long? Yeah, how many years? For me? Yeah. Uh -huh. 19 years. 19, 19 years. years. So. Years. so you see that all over the, uh, the Satterwhite family. Uh, you know, we don't have a lot of turnover people in here years most people measured in you know decades so yeah um, everybody knows their job we, we appreciate, appreciate you Juan
Ron, Juan runs what we call our Morgan saw. It's a 30-foot band saw. Yeah, we've got a couple of saws back here. Let's tell them about it just a little bit before we get back there. I don't know how the sound's going to do. There's our fearless leader on the golf cart going to inspect the mill. <laughs> She's going back there to make sure everybody's hitting their stride. Yeah, it's 9.48, so make sure nobody's taking an <laughs> unscheduled break. Exactly. So, like you said, let's talk about what, what we're going to see. It's going to be loud when we get back there, so we can't really explain it to you. Yeah, I don't know what, how the mics are going to do, but we've got two big band saws. The select cut is the bigger one uh, that we'll point out first. Right. And then the Morgan, have a planer, some other Pindu machines. Okay. Uh, show them the kiln. Let's unpack that select saw. It's a 40-foot saw that cuts down and back, and it will go 43 inches wide. That's the main saw. We have the Morgan saw that's a 30-foot saw that just cuts one way, and its uh, maximum diameter is 28 inches. And then the planer is a 1956 Yates planer, which that sounds old, but those Yates planers are made with replaceable wear surfaces, so it really doesn't ever wear out. When something goes bad, you just replace the wear surface so you have a brand new machine. Yeah, they're made out of big, heavy cast iron. You know, they basically last forever if you keep right. them maintained. And then the Pindu is the machine that makes anything square into something round. Yeah. And we're gonna show you all that stuff as we walk through there. Yeah, you'll, let's say you feed in an eight by eight square timber and the Pindu will shoot out a seven inch round spruce or uh, western red cedar. Right. As you can see in the background, that big tall mountain of shavings and chips, those are our wood chips, it's cedar and spruce. We do sell those for animal bedding, uh, mulch, for playgrounds. We do have playground certification through the state of Texas. We sell it to people in off the street. You come in, we'll fill up the bed of your truck on it for- Yeah, $25, for, $25 to fill up your truck. Yeah. It's great for flower beds or whatever, if you wanna you know, put it over some red clay to keep the mud down. That's what I was to say, if you're close enough, if you got a new construction, you can put that around uh, you know, over the dirt to keep splash back on your logs or whatever you're building. Absolutely. So maybe it's uh, not that loud. Quiet enough to talk about. So uh, you'll see some of the materials that we cut. We cut a lot of Texas cedar, native cedar, eastern aromatic cedar, whatever you want to call it. Um, people use them for all kinds of things, houses, uh, cedar closets, hope chests. I mean, the sky's the limit with this stuff, so we do a lot of this stuff. A bunch of other different species that we do. Um, back there, you can see our select cut that Blake was telling you about. Um, the 40-foot saw that cuts coming and going. So this is some stickered material. Um, so. Our dead staining spruce, it's naturally dry. Some of the materials that we cut here in Texas aren't. The native cedar, the cypress, some of the Douglas fir, those types of things. So if we know what they're gonna be made into, we could cut them into uh, whatever size they need to be, sticker them, which is putting literally putting sticks between them or, or little slivers of one by two uh, that allow you to have air gap. So all this material gets stickered, it's gapped, it's ready to go. And then once we have a full load, it'll go over into our kiln here. And this is uh, about 30, 36 feet wide, 40 feet wide, uh, about 20 feet deep and about 20 feet tall. So we can put a lot of material in there, turn on the heaters, and in a few days to a couple of weeks, depending on the moisture content of the wood, it, it draws all that moisture out so you have a nice dry, stable, piece, stable of wood. piece of material. That's right. All right. This is a good shot of the select cut saw over this way. Straight ahead. I'm not sure. He might. He might be getting ready to run that saw right now. So they're, I guess, moving they're, some material they're, around. They're in between uh, cuts right now, moving some material. This right here to the right or in front of me is the Morgan. That's the 30 foot saw that we were talking about. Yeah, this saw is old. Now we've had the select cut, what, maybe five, 10 years? Yeah, probably five or 10 years. This saw, this Morgan saw is what, maybe 30 years yeah, old? Yeah, it's, it's been here a long time. Been here a long time. Yeah, we built we built uh, the, the shop around it, basically. Yeah, this used, when I first started, this was out in the sun. Wow, so. you're old. <laughs> I feel it. 
<clears throat> okay, let's we'll walk over now to the Pindu, which is the machine that I said takes anything square and makes it round. Uh, this is a good example of that. This is a three-inch round stock spruce. You can take a four by four, put it in the other side of this machine, and it comes out perfectly round. Yeah, you got two semicircular cutting heads that'll just eat the material off both sides and send it out perfectly round like that. Right. Moving over to the Yates planer. Like I said earlier, this is a 1956 model with replaceable wear surfaces. This machine can make house logs, round stock, tongue and groove lumber, any, basically anything that, I don't know what it can't make, honestly. Yeah, I mean, anything that needs to be cut or, or surfaced on basically any four sides. I don't know what the limits are on the throat, but I know it goes up to eight by 12. Right. That's the biggest log that we cut. Right. Um, but yeah, so for this particular product, It'll take a raw product like this, a raw spruce product that's just cut and ready to go. It'll infeed into the other side, and as it comes out, as it's going through, it's going to cut your tongue on one side. It's going to cut your, your groove on the other. It'll surface the face if we want it to, if we run the, the planing head down to do that. Yeah. Uh, we're set up to leave the other side rough yeah. to have a reversible look for the crews. What this is right here is a piece of inch and a quarter by eight inch spruce decking, and that is the product that we use for our porch ceilings, or the, the roof of the porches. All right, so that's our mill. Now we'll run up to the warehouse uh, and let you see what goes on in there. On the way over there, we'll show you, this is our, our order completed bay. These are orders that are, are ready for pickup today. Uh, yeah, this could be anywhere from uh, materials to, to trim out a whole house all the way down to stuff for maybe a, a bench or a, a any, birdhouse, anything. Yeah, any kind of hobby lumber. You don't have to be a house customer of Satterwhite Log Homes to buy any kind of material from us. We'll sell you one stick or we'll sell you a thousand sticks. Yeah, if you've got, you know, if you got a log house, you got a conventional house, you want a new, uh, a new mantle, anything. So we just showed you off the Yates planer the material that we can make here and that we primarily do make here out of the Texas office for the porch ceiling material, the decking. So this is just an example of, of a small amount that we run through. I mean, all of this has been created here and we turn this stuff over probably weekly, if not daily. Oh yeah, absolutely. We, as fast as we make it, we, we have to send it out to jobs. We'll walk through here. We've got just any kind of material, sheet goods, uh, log siding, yeah. you know, some, you know, every log that we make for a house, we also have a corresponding piece of log siding that's basically the same look, same style, but just thinner for uh, outbuildings or gable ends or dormers or anything like that. So that's right. an option. We also house all of our one by six and one by eight tongue and groove interior finish lumber. And one by four. And one by four. We've I, got, I just say that because, you know, we got a whole uh, bunch of uh, cypress one by four. Right. We've got white pine, spruce. Blue pine, western red cedar, aspen, yep. uh, native cedar, cypress, all these different options that you can get. Uh, yellow pine car siding that you can get in. Uh, We've got yellow pine flooring as well. Um, native cedar tongue and groove. If you wanted to do a closet with the aromatic cedar, we've got you covered on that. Definitely. Let's show them some of the, the blue ponderosa pine if we can. Okay. Blue Ponderosa Pine is one of the most popular sellers that we, we carry. Um, Here's some. Okay. Are you rolling? Okay. This is one by eight blue pine. This is the wormy blue pine. This has the wormholes in it. Well, you know, like you said, uh, we were talking earlier, I wouldn't call us a regular lumber yard, but we for sure stand out as a specialty lumber yard. Absolutely. I mean, you can buy plywood, you can buy studs from us, but where we shine is stuff that you're not gonna find every at every other place in town. You, very few places are you gonna be able to go, uh, at least in the south, and find uh, blue ponderosa, wormy blue pine like you yeah, can here. I agree with that. All right, let's put that back up and we'll start rolling down the line. 
I bet we can catch the warehouse manager over here in a second. Gene Word. That's say, what you're gunning for, isn't say it? Say hi to him. Yep. But I bet he doesn't react too fondly. Oh, he's, oh, he's on the phone. This is our front of our warehouse. This is where we stack all of our house logs. Getting ready to go out to jobs, six by six D, six by eight D. Yeah, so we go, you know, we go through great lengths to preserve the moisture content on our house logs from the forest all the way to your job site. You know, we're gonna keep them under yeah. cover. Even once we start building the house, we're gonna cover your logs with poly every day. So, um, you know, we're going to great extents to, to keep it dry. That's true, that's true. You wanna talk to them quickly about the, okay. how the logs are gonna come? Yeah, this is a good example of what to expect when the logs are delivered to your job site. Of course, they're covered to keep them out of the weather, but as you notice, these aren't cut specific to your house. All of our house logs are cut on site. That's gonna give you the freedom to, if you make a mistake, if you make a change, you know, we're gonna send you. If, if the slab's not exactly, if the foundation's not exactly right. right. You know, it's a question we get all the time. We do. Is it we a do. kit? Is it numbered? You right. know, what happens if something's messed up? Yeah, these are not numbered kits. So, uh, you know, this is what to expect when your house logs get delivered to your house and you are free to, to stack and cut as you see fit. Yeah, we're literally gonna send you random length logs uh, that's going to be the easiest for someone who knows what they're doing uh, right. to, to, to fix problems on site, that, right. anything that may arise. Well, then you wouldn't have that freedom on a, on a numbered house log kit. Yeah. If, you, if you're missing something, you're kind of in a bind. Yeah, if, if a log gets damaged, damaged in transit, if it gets miscut for whatever reason, yeah. if the foundation is not exactly the way it could, should be, you could be dead in the water till a replacement log shows up. With our random log system, you just grab the next one, cut it to the length you need, and, and, and keep roll. rolling. That's right. Okay, so we'll go over here. This is the this is kind of the front of the warehouse office. This is where we stock all of our exterior stains and sealants, and this is also where our warehouse manager. Uh, Speaking of the warehouse there, manager, there he goes right there. Hard at work. They're tracking down an order, most likely. <laughs> so it's this, funny how when. Uh, you're trying to get people on camera, they just kind of... They just kind of disappear, disappear on you. Disappear, that's right. I would say it... Oh. Goes a construction manager out, Gene he probably out to a job site. Headed to, headed to a job site to check a job site out. So uh, let's take them in the mantle shop. Yeah. As we walk, let's show them the native, uh, the Western Red Cedar yeah. Bay. That so. far bay that you see is our Western Red Cedar Bay. That's where we stock all of our Western Red Cedar 2 by 4 up through 12 by 12. Uh, yeah, we, you know... Uh, in the process of building a house and, in the, and people buying off the street, we try to stock as much uh, commodity lumber, especially in the Western Red and Doug Fur, those yeah. type of things that we can. Absolutely. Our mantle shop is really the heart of our specialty lumber business. This is where we can cut your corbels, we can cut mantles, table bases, anything specialty that you can think of, this is kind of where it happens. So um, as you can see, this is a good example of a, that's a spruce corbel. You know, just a decorative piece that... Yeah, you can use that to hold up the edge of a bar. You can use it for a porch wire brace. There, yeah, uh, there's tons of uses for that, but this is where all this happens. If you find a picture on Howl's or Pinterest of a material or a style that you like, we can right. probably uh, get you close or, or exactly replicate it. Okay. Native cedar mantles, spruce mantles. Uh, blue ponderosa pine, I see one yeah, here. Yeah, blue pine. All these mantles in here can be cut to your specific length. And they can also be customized. We can hand hew them, we can peel them. Yeah, do you need one that's four inches thick? Do you want one that's six inches thick? You need an eight inch. What's the depth that you want? Yeah, there, there's no, no right or wrong yeah, answer. No right or wrong. It can be whatever dimension that you see fit, we can cut that. We just keep these in stock for you to choose from, and then we can modify them to fit your needs. Let's walk down here and some look at these unique pieces. Right. So what we do on these native cedar trees is we spray peel the bark off of them with a pressure washer, and then we hand sand them. Yeah, so, you know, when you're, when you're, every log is different. Every piece of lumber that you see is going to be different. So when we run across something that's got quite a bit of character, we try to pull that aside uh, for a unique piece that can be used for a, a mantle or a bar top, any of those types of things. That's right. So, you know, when you, when you hand or when you pressure wash it and then start hand sanding it, that really brings out these, you know, specific features, features of, each, yeah. of each tree because it yeah. is a tree, like, like you said. Yeah, you'll never see another one that looks exactly like this no, one or this won't. one or any of these. That's true. So, all right. Uh, I think that's as good a place as any to end. I think so too. I hope you guys enjoyed our quick tour of our office. We welcome you here anytime. We'd love to show you around. Uh, we do have two model homes about half a mile from the office. So, 
You guys come join us whenever. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Well, that was neat. That was cool. That was uh, it's about, it was a long video, but it was about as fast as we yeah. could make it and we, still hit everything. We definitely rushed through that. Yeah. that. Carrie Deutsch, that was for you. This was an email we got from Carrie. This is the, she is from Wyoming, and that is where she's going to be building. What a beautiful piece of property. So, Carrie, I hope we fulfilled your wishes by doing the office tour. If not, let us know. And, guys, if you have any other topics that you want us to cover. Yeah, love to hear them. Just let us know. We'll, we're looking for stuff to do on Thursdays except for work. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, give us a holler. We appreciate you tuning in, and hopefully that was an interesting behind-the-scenes look for you. Yep. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.